Good day learners, today we are going to discuss equation of parabola in standard form whose vertex is located at coordinate hk. But before anything else, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for my upcoming videos. This video lesson talks about equations of parabola in standard form whose vertex is located at the coordinate hk. Standard form of the equations of the parabola with vertex at hk can be written in any of the following cases. Case 1, if the axis is parallel to the x-axis and the parabola opens to the right, the equation is square of y minus k is equal to 4p times the quantity of x minus h. Case 2, if the axis is parallel to the x-axis and the parabola opens to the left, the equation is the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to negative 4p times the quantity of x minus h. Case 3, if the axis is parallel to the y-axis, and the parabola opens upward, the equation is the square of x minus h is equal to 4p times the quantity of y minus k. Case 4, if the axis is parallel to y-axis and the parabola opens downward, the equation is the square of the quantity x minus h is equal to negative 4p times the quantity of y minus k. Let us discuss graph of parabola in case 1 whose vertex is located at hk. The equation in standard form is the square of y minus k is equal to 4p times the quantity of x minus h. So as we are going to locate now the vertex, suppose that this is our vertex hk and the focus is located at the right of the vertex. Since the parabola opens to the right, and this is our axis of symmetry, which is a line that passes through the vertex and the focus, and the directrix is at the left of the vertex, and this is our latus rectum. And take note that the distance from the vertex going to the directrix perpendicularly is p units and the distance from the vertex going to the focus is a p units also and four times the value of the p is the length of the lattice rectum the vertex is located at coordinate hk the focus the focus is located at the coordinate h plus p and k for the directrix, the equation of the directrix is x is equal to h minus p. And for the axis of symmetry, the equation of the axis of symmetry is y is equal to k. For the length of the lattice rectum, is 4 times the value of the p. And coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So try to look at on the focus. The focus here is so in this equation, whatever the, the coordinate of the focus, so the ordinate will be added by positive negative 2p. Then we can say that the coordinate of the endpoints of the lattice rectum is coordinate h plus p and k plus minus 2p. So, let us have now an example. Sketch and discuss y squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. Solution. The equation y squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of x plus 2 is a parabola with a vertex at the coordinate hk and whose directrix is parallel to y-axis and opens to the right. So, 
first thing that we need to do is we have to identify now the the value of the p so as what you can see the coefficients now of the quantity of x plus 2 is 4 so this will be our 4p so we need to equate now 4p is equal to 4 in order for us to find the value of the p so divide both sides by 4 to find the value of the p then p now is equal to 1 so since we already have not the, the value of the p so let us now make a table so the given equation of the parabola is y squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. So if we're going to relate this one into a standard form, so this is in the form of the square of y minus k is equal to 4p times the quantity of x minus h. So we really need to rewrite this given equation in this form so that now we can easily identify the coordinate hk. So, in the writing this equation into this form, then we can say the square of y minus 0 is equal to 4p times the quantity of x minus negative 2. So, we can say our h is negative 2 and our k is 0. So, the vertex located at the coordinate negative 2 and 0, then the focus can be found using this coordinate so the coordinate h plus p and k so our h is equal to negative 2 and our p is 1 our k is 0 so substituting now so h which is negative 2 plus the value of the p which is 1 so we have now negative 2 plus 1 then our k is 0 then we can say that the focus is located at the coordinate negative 1 and 0. For the directrix, so the equation is x is equal to h minus p. And take note our h is negative 2 and our p is 1. Then we have now an equation x is equal to negative 2 minus 1. So if we're going to simplify now this one, this is equal to x is equal to negative 3. For the axis of symmetry, take note that in finding the axis of symmetry, we have now y is equal to k. So the value of the k is 0, then the axis of symmetry is y is equal to 0. For the length of the lattice rectum, we have now 4 times the value of the p. So our p is 1, so we have now 4 times 1. So the length of the lattice rectum is equal to 4. For the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum, so we can find using this coordinate. Coordinate h plus p and k plus minus 2p. So substituting the value of the h, the p, and the k. So we have coordinate negative 2 plus 1 and 0 plus minus 2 times 1. So let us now simplify. Negative 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. And then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Simplifying further, we have coordinate negative 1 and 0 plus minus 2. Then we can simplify this further. So if we have now 0 plus 2, that is 2. 0 minus 2, that is negative 2. So if we are going to split this into two coordinates, then we have now coordinate negative 1 and 2 and coordinate negative 1 and negative 2. Since we already have now this information, we can easily sketch now the graph. So first, we have to plot the vertex. The vertex is located at negative 2 and 0. Next is the focus. The focus is located at coordinate negative 1 and 0 here. And then for the directrix, since our directrix is x is equal to negative 3, it means that this is a vertical line which is parallel to y-axis and pass through the x-axis at negative 3. Then for the axis of symmetry, the axis of symmetry is y is equal to 0. So it means that this is a horizontal line that pass to the y-axis at 
0. And then for the length of the lattice rectum, we have now 4. And then let us now plot the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So the first point is coordinate negative 1 and 2. And the second point is coordinate negative 1 and negative 2. So if we are going to count now the units or the length of the lattice rectum, so we have now 4 units. Then we can now sketch now the graph of the parabola y squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. The second case of parabola whose vertex is located at coordinate hk, if the axis is parallel to the x-axis and the parabola opens to the left, then the equation is the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to negative 4p times the quantity of x minus h. So let us now discuss the sketch and the equations and coordinates of the parts of this parabola. Suppose that this is our coordinate hk and then the focus is located at the left of the parabola and the directrix is parallel to y and located at the right of the vertex. And then the axis of symmetry is a horizontal line that passes through the vertex, the focus, and perpendicular to the directrix. And our lattice rectum, then this is now the sketch of our parabola. So the vertex is located at coordinate HK. For the focus, focus is located at the coordinate h minus p and k for the directrix so the equation of the directrix is x is equal to h plus p for the axis of symmetry the equation is y is equal to k and for the length of the lattice rectum is 4 times the value of the p and the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum is coordinate h minus p and k plus minus 2p. Let us have an example. Find the equation of the parabola with vertex at coordinate negative 2 and 3 and the focus at the coordinate negative 5 and 3. So the first thing that we need to do is we are going to use the distance formula to find the distance between the vertex and the focus, which is the value of the p. And remember that the distance from the vertex going to the focus is a p units. So we are going to let focus coordinate negative 5 and 3 be our coordinate x sub 1, y sub 1. For the vertex, coordinate negative 2 and 3 be our coordinate x sub 2, y sub 2. Because we are going to use the distance formula. So instead of d is equal to the square root of the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of y sub 2 min minus y sub 1, the d must be replaced by p. So substituting the value of our x sub 2, which is negative 2, and our x sub 1 is negative 5 y sub 2 is 3 and y sub 1 is 3. As we are going to substitute in our distance formula, p is equal to the square root of the square of negative 2 minus negative 5 plus the square of 3 minus 3. As we are going to simplify, p is equal to the square root of the square of negative 2 plus 5 plus the square of 3 minus 3. Then, simplify further, we have the square root of 3 square plus 0 square. So, the square of 3 is 9 and the square of 0 is 0. Then, we have p is equal to the square root of 9 plus 0. Then, p is equal to square root of 9. So, the square root of 9 is positive 3. Since the focus is located at the left, of the vertex then the parabola opens to the left and whose vertex located at hk coordinate negative 2 and 3 
then we are going to use the standard equations of the parabola whose vertex located at coordinate hk which is the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to negative 4p times the quantity of x minus h. Then we are going to substitute now the value of the p which is 3 and the coordinate hk which is coordinate neg negative 2 and 3 to find the equation of the parabola. So as we are going to substitute now, y minus the value of the k is 3. And then the value of the P is equal to 3. And the H is negative 2. As we are going to simplify now. So we have now the square of Y minus 3 is it negative 12 times the quantity of X plus. So this is now the equation of the parabola in the said problem. Then let us now sketch the equation of the parabola in the said problem. The equation of the parabola is the square of the quantity y minus 3 is equal to negative 12 times the quantity x plus 2 with the value of p which is equal to 3. So as we are going to make now a table, this is now the equation of the parabola. It is in the standard form square of the quantity y minus k is equal to negative 4p times the quantity x minus h. Then the vertex and the focus are given. Then let us now find the directrix. So the directrix can be found using the equation x is equal to h plus p. All we need to do is we're going to add the value of the h which is negative 2 and the value of the p which is 3. Then the equation of the parabola is x is equal to negative 2 plus 3. As we are going to simplify, the equation is x is equal to 1. Then we can say that this is a vertical line that is parallel to y-axis and pass through the x at point 1. For the axis of symmetry, that is y is equal to the value of the k. Our k is 3. Then the equation for the axis of symmetry is y is equal to 3. It means that it is a horizontal line that passes through the vertex and the focus. And for the length of the lattice rectum, that is 4 times the value of the p. So that is 4 times 3. So the length of the lattice rectum is 12. Let us now find the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum using the coordinate h minus p and k plus minus 2p. So substituting the value for the h, the k, and the p. So we have now the coordinate negative 2 minus 3 and 3 plus minus 2 times 3. So as we are going to simplify now this one, negative 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 5 and 2 times 3 that is equal to 6. So simplify, that is coordinate negative 5 and 3 plus minus 6. So as we are going to split this into two coordinates and simplify this 3 plus minus 6. So 3 plus 6 is 9, 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum coordinate negative 5 and 3 plus 6 and, and coordinate negative 5 and 3 minus 6. So... As we are going to simplify further, the coordinates of endpoints of lattice rectum are coordinate negative 5 and 9 and coordinate negative 5 and negative 3. So as we are going to plot now and locate now the endpoints of the lattice rectum, so this is now the locations of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. As what you can see, the distance of the endpoints of the lattice rectum is equal to 12 units then this is now the sketch of the parabola square of the quantity y minus 3 is equal to negative 12 times the quantity of x plus 2